All right. Uh, hello, folks. My name is Keegan Lucky Smith, and today I would like to tell you about a beautiful and pristine state park located in northeastern Tennessee. This extraordinary jewel is Rocky Fork State Park, a 2037-acre preserve commissioned in October of 2012, making this the newest state park in Tennessee. Uh, you may ask, what makes this park so special? Well, we are here to tell you today uh, several things that make this park a treasure. One of these things is the incredibly pristine watershed. Uh, this watershed is so healthy that it can support uh, several key indicator species, including uh, uh, the brook trout, which is a native uh, fish of the Appalachian region, and uh, several uh, salamanders. Uh, another remarkable thing about the park is the unique and diverse ecosystem that it supports. Uh, several animals found here that should not exist on the uh, park due to large amounts of industrial logging that has resulted in two cases of clear cutting uh, include uh, the star nose mole and the blue ghost firefly. Uh, this park also served as a, a recreation area for both uh, locals and those uh, from outside of the county. Uh, as Marie Rice uh, put it, uh, a local resident and uh, head of the Rocky Fork Friends Group, uh, this park was our playground. Um, she also recounts stories that her father would tell of playing pickup baseball games on what now is the park. Uh, thanks to the uh, conservation work that the park has done, uh, this location still functions as a recreation area for people like Joanna Wicker, someone who lives outside the county but often visits to hike and fish. Um, so now since I've told you a little bit about the park, let me tell you a little bit about the county. Uh, the, uh, the entirety of the park is encompassed by Unicoi County, a county that is considered at risk by the ARC. Uh, one of the most recent catalysts for this, uh, for this uh, classification is the recent closure of the CSX Railroad Hub. Uh, the railroad is a huge part of the... Uh, is a huge part of the identity and history of uh, of Unicoi County, as Irwin, a town within Unicoi County, uh, was established by the railroad. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about our project. Uh, our group collaborated with Rocky Fork State Park in Unicoi County, Tennessee, to document oral histories of land use and uh, cultural importance of the park and uh, adjunct land areas. This was to assist the uh, park's effort to create a vision of development that utilizes information gained by uh, gained regarding culture and history. Additionally, working alongside the park rangers, Tim Ferris and Jesse Jimerod, we uh, assessed and identified strategies for further developing Rocky Fork State Park as a sustainable economic and cultural asset. This effort is intended to honor the local culture and broaden economic diversification while preserving the natural value of the park. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diggs Drusha. I'm going to talk about our methodology for this project. Our strategy was to assist Rocky Fork State Park in its development by listening to and the observation of diverse community members and functions and these included personal interviews with local residents of Unicoi County of varied backgrounds and interests, field research of local festivals, research in the archives of Appalachia, which is located at East Tennessee State University, attendance of a local county commissioner's meeting in Irwin, Tennessee, and a meeting with the Friends of Rocky Fork, a community-based advocacy group. With this methodology of community engagement, we were able to analyze and assess common concerns and input for the park's development and future. We were also able to discuss the history and future development with the park's rangers. These viewpoints from the community gave us important insight into the local use of this land and its historic value prior to becoming a park. Common elements of concern presented by the local community that we found in our research were overdevelopment of Rocky Fork area similar to Gatlinburg's tourist-based economy, lack of responsible ecotourism with possible overuse of the park and possible destruction of property, concern that the park may be inaccessible due to an influx of tourists making the park difficult for community engagement. 
By utilizing and incorporating techniques from Appalachian Teaching Project, we were also able to acquire valuable insight by interviewing local small business owners and to present their perceptions of ecotourism and its effect on the community. During this Rocky Fork project, I also personally had the opportunity to be involved in the future planning and development of my hometown school district of Cromwell, Wright, Minnesota. With similar community-based research and communication skills introduced to me by the Appalachian Teaching Project, I was able to utilize concepts and ideas in partnership with local members from my community that introduced new economic strategies for our school's education system. We were able to assess priority needs and are currently in the process of introducing our findings in partnership with the school's administration for the construction of a new shop building with auto mechanics and also robotics. By implementing these types of community-based research strategies, whether in the heart of Appalachia or rural Minnesota, I have been able to appreciate and acquire a greater understanding of the importance of a community's input and the benefits of local participation and expertise. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Roosevelt City. I will take you to the economic development policy implication of the project. The status of Erwin Unico County economic development is mixed with varied outcomes and characteristics. Unico County has a population of approximately 18,000 with 22.5% below the poverty line and an average unemployment rate of 4.2%. The county offers many cultural and natural attractions that include the apple, strawberry, flare pond ram, great outdoors, cow model arrays to attract tourists and explain its social economic conditions. Creating a sense of place and place identity is critical to promoting economic growth and development in Erwin. This oral history project demonstrates that transformation of Rocky Fall remains a milestone accomplishment to very new generation, job creation, and preservation of cultural history. Outcomes from community engagement indicates that the growth and development of Erwin is aligned to merits of getting more people back into the woods of Rocky Fall. This shared belief from diverse group of participants involved with this project appears to be the best alternative to attract investment and expand the local economy. As observed, Promoting economic development in the county will require advertising the park's natural habitat and its relationship to the Appalachian Trail and the Cherokee Forest. There is also a need for effective collaboration between local government, residents, and regulatory agencies in developing effective programs that promote ecotourism in the county. This will create the needs for increased investment in service-oriented businesses like restaurants, gas stations, craft industries, and drinking establishments. In the midst of these challenges, the ARC has made tremendous intervention through grants to address present development needs of the county. In 2016, the ARC appropriated 253,000 for equipment and entrepreneur initiative to Manhavas Kitchen and 400,000 for fiber optic high speed internet to Temple Hill and Bumpers Park Coast. Just by this intervention by the ARC, Ensuring development in the country requires progressive reform strategy that enhances growth and productivity. These policy measures will provide the basis for increase in investment and ecotourism activities that raises revenue, improve infrastructure, and address the country's social and economic conditions. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Amelia Charles, and as you've just heard today, we've continued a long history of work in Unicoi County as part of the Appalachian Teaching Project. This year we sought to help park rangers Tim and Jesse understand the sense of place that Rocky Fork holds for Unicoi County and the surrounding region. Tim and Jesse said that their most pressing need was to understand the history of this place so that they can fulfill part of the park's mission to accurately interpret and represent the land. Tim and Jesse will use our oral histories to bolster their cultural interpretation programming, which includes school visits, educational hikes, community talks, storytelling events, and events like this haunted hike, which actually sold out. And this is just one example of what the park is working to do for the community. 
So Appalachia is a region that is increasingly on the move toward attracting ecotourism and other tourism as a viable economic development means. According to the authors of Ecotourism in Appalachia Marketing the Mountains, Appalachia is perfectly situated geographically and psychologically to capitalize on the trends of ecotourism. However, at the same time, its environment is in dire need of protection. As you all may know, Appala the Appalachians have been victim to logging and other extractive industries over the years that have desecrated our ecosystems. Appalachia has struggled to develop sustainability in its environmental, cultural, and economic practices. But that does not mean that a service-based economy will be less harmful or more fruitful than what an industrial market was. Take, for example, this light pollution in Gatlinburg. A concern of our participants is that Rocky Fork and other county development means will bring about overdevelopment and the negative effects that coexist with that overdevelopment like you see here. Rocky Fork and Unicoi County are truly pioneering the important work of sustainable economic development and ecotourism. Ecotourism is a practice of responsible, low-impact tourism that provides enjoyment of cultural and natural assets while promoting the socioeconomic development of the region. So as we continue to consider the future of Rocky Fork and Unicoi County while working with the community, we want to help them s develop sustainable economic systems. How can we best help Rocky Fork and the surrounding area stay true to the sense of place that Rocky Fork holds for the community, preserve its biodiversity and its culture while considering the recommendations of the community for development? A key finding of our research was actually that participants agreed largely with the tenets of ecotourism as put forth by the Natural Conservancy and the International Tourism Society. Alongside these recommend, re recommendations from the community, we humbly offer these suggestions. Continued and strengthened local participation in Rocky Fork development, conservation, and decision making. Increased community voice in situating Rocky Fork as only one of the many things that Unicoi County is doing to develop the, the region. And continued and strengthened educational programs teaching the community and especially our students about local culture and biodiversity. So as Rocky Fork State Park and Unicoi County moves forward, we invite you, the county, and the park to consider this question with us. How can we as Appalachians share our wonderful natural and cultural resources through ecotourism while protecting our land and preserving our culture as we rebuild our economies on our own terms? Thank you.